My name is Brittany Moreno. Uh, I am head trainer at 212 Training Center. U12 Training Center is a facility to train athletes, youth, and pretty much the Covina community. Hello, my name is Robert Moreno. I'm the owner and founder of the 212 uh, Academic and Athletic Training Center. Um, it was a dream that to bring a facility to the San Gabriel Valley uh, just uh, under 10 years ago. I believe we're going on our 11th year and to see the growth, to see the the amount of kids come through our doors and succeed. Hi, my name is uh, Coach Megan. I'm one of the trainers, uh, the strength and conditioning coaches here at 212. I'm also a softball coach here at 212. Oh, what do I like about 212? Everything, you know, what we do here is just different. There's, there's a lot of facilities out there um, and we really appreciate the people who do choose us because what we do have is different. Um, we, we do specialize with kids. We do help them to get stronger. It's, it's really the complete package. You know, we have recovery options. We have, you know, yoga options. We have softball. We have, you know, baseball options. And so just having all of those things together and, and being such a unique facility and having those unique opportunities is definitely different. Uh, you know, all of us coaches are on the same page, but we do specialize in, in many different things. We all come from many different backgrounds, um, but we're all on the same page and on the same level. And, you know, we truly buy into our purpose here and our t intentions of being here. So it's easy, it's easy to come to work here. Hi, I'm Jack Harkey. I work with the kids here at 212 and I'm also the yoga instructor, bringing mobility to everyone regardless of their age. Oh, my favorite part is hands down, I am mushy, I am gushy, I am one in it 100% for the emotional connection. Um, being able to hit it off, have conversation, um, have something in common, not just the fact that we're in here and we're training, but also um, stuff that we have going on in, in our lives. Uh, we're all people, we're all individuals, and a lot of times just the fast pace of how everything goes, we kind of forget to connect with one another and being able especially with the kids, be able to pull them out of their shells and uh, the, the shy ones all of a sudden I get really excited to come in and speak with you or the ones that were really afraid of doing something now have this grown confidence. Um, and that is 100% why I love working with my clients, working with the kids here. We have Coach Megan, we have Coach Jack, we have Coach Dev, and now we just added on Coach Bree as well. So we are a completely full female staff. Um, I believe we're kind of one of the only facilities to have that quality. I call it a quality because it, it's such a strength, you know, at the end of the day to have five females who are like-minded in the sense of helping athletes or even just their clients. Like I said, we have uh, different strengths and different strengths make up a very strong team. If we all train the same, we're just going to only attract one walk of life. So for us to be able to build a team of not only females, but also well-educated females who are willing to study and put in their time to learn how training works, um, it just helps us kind of reach more people simply because we have different strengths. So for 2023, um, I'd say a goal that, and I can only speak for myself, I can't speak for everybody else, but uh, being in the head trainer position, my goal for everybody here in 212 is to grow, to challenge themselves, to get outside their comfort zones, whether it be financially making more money, uh, building more clientele, or even just developing deeper relationships. At the end of the day, 212 is a place to grow, but Growth doesn't come without challenge. That's just impossible. There's no way to grow without a little bit of challenge there. And I think um, my hopes for everybody on the team is to, to increase their clientele, to really get their knowledge out there and really show people that they have a tool and a talent that can help them. And at the end of the day, I want people to, to grow here. The, the fulfillment is this, is we have the opportunity to reach lives. My dad was a minister for many years, he was a pastor, and that was just not mine and Britt's avenue. But when you look at it, this is another sense of a ministry because we're touching lives. When those kids walk in through the door, you could tell when they're going through some stuff. And as a father, 
you have a sense of, hey, you good? Hey, yeah, coach, I'm good, I'm good. You know, a lot of times I would tell them, hey, well, that luggage that you brought in, just leave it at the door. Hopefully after your hour here, your, after your session, you're just gonna walk out and you're gonna pass all everything that you left at the door. And a lot of times they, they do. Everybody's journey is different. Every body is different and you have to do what's best for yourself. It's not gonna look what's the same for everyone. Educate, empower, and execute. We want to educate the kids on, you know, what training can bring or if, you know, we're talking about the mental side, we want to educate them with the proper information. Then we want to empower them with that information, making sure that they know that they can utilize it. And then that's where the execution comes in is you can use these tools that we've educated you, empowered you to do, and now you can go out and execute what you feel needed for your life or where you can use it and apply it to your own life. Being a coach, one of our most important roles is just showing them that they can believe in themselves the way that we believe in them and um, allowing them to have the confidence to come in and be themselves. Um, but also understand that there has to be discipline. The small details matter. Focusing during your session matters. If you're not putting everything in and all your energy into whatever it is you're doing in the moment, you're not going to be your best self. You're not going to get the best out of the time that you just dedicated to yourself. Um, it's also important for them just to learn about themselves and get them to understand, you know, the different processes of life. And sometimes, you know, they come in and, and they're having a rough day and it's not even about the training. It becomes about how can you overcome the obstacle that you're going through right now. A lot of these kids are in high school and they're in middle school and they go through these problems that they don't understand aren't going to be that big of problems in the long run, um, but just helping them get through it and providing a, a, another influence in their life and being another person of, of guiding them um, is huge for us. So yeah, sometimes it's not about necessarily getting physically stronger, but mentally stronger and just guiding them through whatever it is they need that day. You push that one extra degree, you're going to see the results in it, whether it's mentally, physically, um, spiritually, even whatever training means to you. If you push that extra degree, you're going to see the results if you don't give up. When all of this took off, I think Britt really found her, her belonging. And, and as an older brother, it was good for me to be able to provide that platform for her to uh, collectively as a family find how we are going to reach our community. If you do not feel that training is not mental and emotional, I don't think you're training correctly because all those three things tie in together. And especially working with youth, if they had a bad day at home, if they had a bad day at school, if they had a bad day at their game or whatever it might be, sometimes those emotions, you have to kind of get them to gear it in more of a positive space so that way they can do their job, that they're not focusing on just the negative that they just experienced. Again, 212 is a place to leave that all at the door and come in and get your work and focus on ultimately their goal at the end of the day. So yes, emotionally depends on the day. Certain days kids come in just thriving, they're so happy and it makes training much easier that day. Um, also mentally, uh, kids aren't used to lifting weights, kids aren't used to running, sprinting, jumping, whatever it might be. So as soon as you put them in a position where they're not good at something, that all comes right up here. Can I do it? Or it's our job to convince them that they can do it. And then once they do it once, hey, I can do it again. I can do it again and again. Whether it kind of changed down the line, hey, I don't know if I can do that. You thought you could do that. And look at, you're doing it now, so give it a try. So yeah, mentally, emotionally, and physically is always involved in training. Well, we want to be boiling water. We want to be productive. That one extra degree of effort might be the difference of you giving that power to something, life to something that might not have previously had it before. The primary purpose for 212 is provide quality training. It doesn't matter if it's an athlete, a child, an adult, just somebody who wants to better themselves through training. And I think that a lot of life lessons can be learned through training as well. So those things walk hand in hand, but ultimately we're here to provide quality training and quality relationships with our clients. You can find uh, information about 212 uh, via IG, Facebook, um, we just launched our website. We're still kind of making tweaks here and there, but we do have a website now. Um, you can contact any one of the coaches on Instagram as well.